Are we alone? Uh, currently. Are we, we alone only in have the universe? Got each other. Uh, in the universe? Maybe, maybe not. I'm clear. Okay, and when I asked you the question, are we alone, what did you understand by the word we? I understood humanity and maybe more broadly life on Earth. Because I guess if, I, if you were to ask humanity, I should have said, we're definitely not alone. We're surrounded by life, which we're currently exterminating. Are we alone in the universe as planet Earth with life on it? Uh, maybe, maybe not. We don't know. And uh, so humanity is kind of an ill-defined concept, I guess. Because if Neanderthals were still around, would they be or would they not be? Or chimpanzees, would they? Be? And I guess life can be is also an ill-defined concept, or is it not? Yeah, it. Yeah, it's. I suppose it is ill-defined. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's. So this question is not well posed, then. Yeah, you could say it's not well posed, and I. Yeah, so that debate would maybe perhaps come down to something like, are viruses alive? Could you imagine viruses emerging on a planet in the absence of things we would call life, like bacteria or you know, animals. Um, if I were not in this room, would you be alone? I think the question would need context for me to answer. Well, there'd be all kinds of life forms in here, the bacterial, for example, but the question is, would you consider yourself to be alone? Most people would answer yes. Yeah, they would answer yes. Yeah. And you wouldn't, or would you? I would answer, because I would fill in the, the blanks of the question, which is, normally, are there any other people in the room with you? <laughs> so a lot of people are only interested in finding intelligent aliens. And, uh, for example, if we found microbes on Mars, I asked them, would we still be alone if we found microbes on Mars? And yet, a lot of people would say yes. Would you be one of those? No, I'd say that is, no. You know, a kind of at a level that connects with, like, philosophy and religion to find microbes on Mars that really originated. If we could somehow demonstrate the, the result of chemistry and ultimately evolution that occurred on Mars, I think that would be a profound change to our perception of where we are in the universe, which should lead us to say, no, we are, we are not alone. And is this an important question? Are we alone? It's as important as any questions humans care to ask of themselves, I think, yeah. What did I have for breakfast, yes, this morning? I is think that as important as that? Yeah, potentially. It's kind of up to, up to you, yeah. I mean, I think what you had for breakfast yesterday probably, yeah, has more chance to affect you than the question, are we alone? But I think at a kind of societal scale, the question of are we alone has more kind of philosophical and theological implications than what you had for breakfast yesterday. If I gave you a hundred billion dollars with the caveat you have to spend it to try to answer the question, are we alone, how would you spend it? You know what, I would, yeah, I would just spend it on, on educating at university level. University level education. I've heard that if you invest more money on primary and pre-primary education, that it's better spent. Yeah, I personally don't know how to spend that money though. So, um, given if you given me the money, if I immediately hand it off to someone that knows how to do primary and secondary education, then that would be absolving my not kindergarten. That not would be skipping. Yeah, but like, I guess the question is. You know, $100 billion is at the same time a lot of money and not a lot of money, I suppose. So if I was to, imp to improve the, the education systems globally, I don't know whether $100 billion would do it. But $100 billion means a lot in the, the, more, the smaller sector of higher education. What was, what's wrong with calling yourself an astrobiologist? Nothing's wrong as far as you maintain an open mind as to what is relevant for the question of life, its origins, and its ubiquity. So. Okay, and do you think viruses are life forms? <laughs> I have no opinion about no that. No opinion? I have no opinion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, once more, are we alone in the universe? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs>